Yes, my name is David Silverman, and I've been associated with The Simpsons since the very beginning as an animator and director. And uh, I've uh, directed The Simpsons movie, as co-director on Monsters, Inc., and I'm happy to be here at ANSI. I don't think I had a choice. I was a cartoonist ever since I was four, and I never decided to quit. I mean, many kids start out as cartoonists, and somewhere along the line, they, they, they give up. And I never saw a reason to give up. I couldn't think of one good reason to stop drawing cartoons. So, And uh, I was, a me I was uh, just entertained and fascinated with animation at a very young age. I think when I was six, I decided I was going to be an animator. And I, I, I already knew that how it was done. Sort of, you know, I realized that, oh, well, like somebody showed me a flip book. And I said, oh, okay, that's how it's done. Uh, you just flip drawings in front of a camera. So, um, and that's how you do it. So, uh, I already knew and I just figured it was magic, but it's magic that you could do. And uh, I wanted to do it. We had a Super 8 camera, and my dad showed me, look, it has a single frame button. Oh, really? Oh, single frame button? I know what I can do with a single frame button. So, I started making movies when I was 11. I started making stop motion films. And I started making out of clay, and I started making, uh, had a very funny film called Feet of Clay. And, uh, you know, just a bunch of clay stuff forming and coming to life and attacking each other. Usually when you're a kid, you make clay attack each other, or you make things attack each other. That's usually the first thing you do. Then you get that out of your system. And then, okay, now that I've done having clay attack each other, I think I'll write a story of some sort. Then you start writing stories, and, you know, they usually end up with the clay attacking each other. So uh, <laughs> that's what I did. Uh, I also, though, what was interesting, though, is I was developing as a cartoonist. I mean, as a pretty, pretty good, good cartoonist uh, in high, all throughout high school. But I never turned the camera onto the cartoons. I was always using clay, and I kind of enjoyed. I liked Will Vinton's work, you know, when I was when I was a teenager, uh, and uh, and I thought if I was going to animation, I was going to go into stop motion animation. That was sort of my dream. I had influences from uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle show. Uh, it was a show from the 60s. Uh, uh, it was re just a really funny, funny show. Had a lot of fast cutting. The animation wasn't great, but the directing was really great. Very fast cuts and a lot of different angles and so forth. Uh, and also Bugs Bunny cartoons, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck and so forth. Now that was great. That's great animation and great, great timing and great, great editing. And you know, later I learned about the the timing aspect of it, but as a kid, I just thought it was hilarious. Um, and uh, but not only animation, but there's also, especially back in the '60s, there was there was comic books and comics in the newspapers, like Peanuts and Walt Kelly's Pogo, uh, and so things like that also influenced me as a, as a cartoonist and just really as like you know developing a sense of humor. And ANSI is not only the biggest festival, but it's uh, the best in terms of the community. The community uh, that Serge and his crew has in terms of like um, the, the way that everything is run, but just the community of everybody coming together. When you go to the screenings, it's a hoot. You know, people are cheering and they're booing and they're having a great time throwing paper airplanes. Um, there's more a sense of community, I find, than the other uh, festivals I've been to. And no offense to the other festivals, they're a lot of fun. But uh, I get a better sense of the community. Uh, and I've been, uh, this is actually, oddly enough, this is the first festival I've been to, because I went to ANSI uh, two years ago. And all, all the other festivals, including that time, I've been a, been a jury, on, uh, a jury member. And this is the first time I'm not a jury member, which is very relaxing. You could talk to, um, people you admired for a long time, like uh, Paul Dreesen, and meet people like that, and Bruno Bozzetto. And then you would meet students, and, uh, and it was just great. It's just, just, just the overall community is fantastic. The, I, I can't pick one director. There's a few that come to mind. Uh, uh, I think Chuck Jones comes to mind, just for his sense of timing and sense of uh, humor in his timing and his uh, posing. 
also John Hubley comes to mind in just his sense of art and poetry uh, and, and, uh, uh, and also timing, but just there's a, there's a real poetry about the work of John Hubley. Um, and Norman McLaren comes to mind because of his just a great inventiveness. And it's not that I would do a film like Norman McLaren per se, but just the uh, ability to just think way out of the box of what anybody was doing at, in, in his day. Uh, that's very inspiring to, to, I think, any director to sort of think, well, how can you think beyond what anyone else is, is, is working on? No, I actually, it's not a crazy dream, but I, I, I just get inspired. I, I think that it'd be great to do a short, you know, of my own that's not related to The Simpsons uh, to take around to the festivals like ANSI and see if I, see if I get in. <laughs> that would be a crazy dream to do my own short and see if I uh, yeah, get selected. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday to Anna C. Fifty big years here on the lake. You're gonna like it here, Co. Come to Anna C. Oh, happy, happy birthday to Anna C.